What's going on guys, my name's Liam and welcome back to episode 7, wow, episode six, 6, 6 or 7 of Minecraft, Ancient World Minecraft, I was about to say Minecraft Mod Mashup then, but wrong series, where, no, this is Ancient World Minecraft, where we, uh, we're currently building Athens, if you're just joining us for the first time. Right now I'm standing in the finished Agora, which is the marketplace, pretty much got, was running out of walls so I just built a big one, to uh, just fill up the space, and I think it looks alright, let's just take a quick look, take a look back from it. And that is the finished Agora, the finished marketplace of Athens now. And obviously we have our little village springing up here, we have our sheep, just uh, we'll probably need to kill those uh, in, a, in a bit. But we have our village springing up, we've got our own house there with a bunch of other villager houses, we've got our farm, and we're building the Piraeus pretty soon, which is the port. But this episode, you guys can see that I've already started on what I want to do this episode. Let me turn some sounds down. There we go. Um, I have already started on what I want to do this episode, and what I want to do this episode is begin, well, finish, rather. I want to finish the terraforming around the Parthenon. So, hopefully we can manage that. I did do a bit off camera, and that's where the uh, zombie spawner is, so I'm going to leave that one block open. So hopefully we can make the area around the Parthenon look uh, look really nice now, because it, it, was, it was pretty ugly before, you know, it wasn't all the right grass colour and it wasn't all completely grass, it was a lot of it was stone like this bit here was stone. Uh, so I did spend I did spend probably about half an hour or so I just put some tunes on and started uh, terraforming so let me get up here. A waste of dirt. There we go. Okay. So I did, I did just put some music on and started terraforming, and I think I did a pretty good job, but we didn't finish, and I couldn't decide what I wanted to do for this episode, so I figured, hey, I've just made a new spade, so I think that's the perfect time for me to come back and uh, introduce you guys to the, to the area around the Parthenon. And if you don't know what the Parthenon is, it is the temple dedicated to Athene, um, or Athena, however you choose to pronounce it. I, I'm pretty sure there's not a correct way to pronounce it, you know, it's lost in translation, one of those things, I think it's Athena or Athene in the English language, you can really take your pick. Well, I call her Athene, the goddess of wisdom and battle strategy, so there you go. Uh, yeah, this, uh, the Parthenon was a temple dedicated to Athene on top of the Acropolis, and all the Acropolis is, is a, it's a large rock. So if you go to Athens right now, the Acropolis is still there, it's, it's essentially, um, um I'm trying to use something as like an example. Let me go out here and see if I can find anything. So the Acropolis isn't actually a building. It is just a rock plateau. So imagine all that there is rock. Then that, the flat bit would be main Athens. And then this rock here. And it's huge, the, the actual Acropolis. It is really large. Um, so we don't have our Acropolis here, unfortunately. But hey, it, it is on a slight, slight higher level. So that, that can totally be our Acropolis. Even if it's not made out of rock, it's made out of dirt. Same thing though, same thing. Sure, let's go with that. Um, but I'm sure it's going to look good when it's all finished. You know, I'm really liking how everything's tying in together now. It's starting to look like an, an, a town, actually. You know, we've got our Acropolis. Well, we don't have our Acropolis. But we have our Parthenon, and we have our Agora, and we have our makings of a village. We have our Piraeus start you know we can get the port down pretty soon and Athens was famous for its port so can't wait till we start building that um I don't even know what I'm doing here That's, I might as well keep it why not I will need to keep kill those sheep pretty soon because I only needed them for the agora and now I don't really need them so I think I'll be killing them fairly soon you guys know I love to kill sheep Ugh, sheep they just seem so annoying <laughs> the sound they make is just like ugh Disco sheeps. Sheps. Kill all sheps. Totally. Right, so let's have a look. I might just go on a huge rant about sheps. <laughs> I love calling them sheps. If you're wondering why I'm calling them sheps, it's because the pull of sheep is sheep, and that really annoys me. I don't like that. Um, I don't like how a plural of a word is the same as a singular, so if a word has the same um, plurality... And I know plurality is a word, but I'm not sure if I'm using it in the right context. Um, but if a if a word has the same singular um, pronoun as it as the same plural version, then um, 
It really bugs me, so I make up my own singular, and the singular of sheep is Shep, according to me. So, uh, kill all Shep. There we go. <laughs> Am I in my Halloween costume right now? <gasps> I'm in my Halloween... Okay, let me get, let me show you guys my Halloween costume. Um, it is a tad bit before Halloween, but I couldn't resist. This skin is made by Ryhawk10. Um, I will be showcasing it in the Red Cubed Halloween special, which would be really cool. A bunch of us Red Cubers getting up and uh, testing out... Mog's Haunted House, and that'll be up on Halloween, that'll be my Halloween special for this channel. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. But yeah, this uh, this Halloween skin, for those who don't know, I ran a competition uh, to make me a Halloween skin. If you missed the competition, it's probably because you're not following me on Twitter. Um, and the gods command it. <laughs> the gods command you follow me on Twitter. Uh, so yeah, if you, I tend to run quite a few competitions on Twitter, so if you're not following me on Twitter... You're definitely missing out, so uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, link in the description. And I've just totally broke out the whole ancient theme, you know, I've been talking about playing music and following me on Twitter and that sort of thing, so it's like, yeah, probably not the best commentary for this series, Liam. But ah well, so hopefully you guys like my Halloween skin. I, now, in ancient Athens, they didn't celebrate Halloween, you know, obviously, it wasn't, it's a, Halloween's a pagan festival, for those who don't know, it's a, very much celebrating the, the Day of the Dead. That's pretty much what Halloween does. It celebrates all the ghosts and it's the... I think the story goes that it's the one day of the year where the ghosts can, and zombies can rise from their graves and at midnight. And uh, there's a very famous song called the Dance Macabre. And that basically just means Dance of the Dead. And it's, uh, it's essentially the dead rising out from their graves on a Halloween night. And... Uh, that is essentially the base of Halloween, is that the dead rise from their slumber. So there you go, and uh, Athens did not celebrate Halloween, it was uh, it's a, quite a modern uh, holiday actually. However, Athens did have a lot of holidays, you know. Obviously they had a lot of gods, they had Dionysus, Aestus, uh, Zeus obviously, they had Poseidon, Athene, Artemis, you know, all these huge gods, <laughs> Aphrodite. You know, and uh, I can't, there's so many I can't even name them all. There were hundreds of them, all living on Olympus. And they had a holiday for pretty much every single one of them. And on these holidays, slaves were released from jail, on bail. Uh, as long as they w were non-dangerous, like they were just thieves or something. You know, murderers weren't released, but uh, if you were... Uh, uh, prisoners were released from jail as long as you weren't a really hardcore criminal. As long as you're like a thief or something like that, you you were released for the day on on national holidays. Um, you couldn't be arrested on a national holiday, and they had a lot. I mean, they literally had hundreds a year, and so there was a whole bunch of weird stuff that you couldn't do on holidays. Like no one could work. All shops were closed. You didn't have a choice. There were a bunch of festivals and drama competitions like the Dionysia and the Linnea. It, was a, it must have been a pretty cool place to be during the, the, one of the holidays. It's been quite the experience. And, uh, yeah, it would have been kind of cool to uh, be there and sit at the Dionysia and watch the drama festivals and see the slaves, or, not the slaves, the prisoners released from prisons. That could be cool. I imagine quite a few slaves were probably released on the national holidays. Mm, I don't have any proof of that, but I imagine... If you're going to release a slave, you might as well do it on a national holiday. And of course, they did have slaves back then. So, there we go. Alright, let's have a look. How's this looking now? Um, looks alright, I guess, but it's not completely finished. Okay. Let's have a looky here. I think this will probably be a shorter episode. One, because I need to upload it, and it, I'm recording this on the... 26th, and it's going to be uploaded on the 26th. Um, I just completely forgot about recording this, so I am a bit behind in terms of my upload schedule, so I probably need to keep this episode a tiny bit shorter. Let's go sleep real quick as well. So this episode most likely will be a bit shorter than usual, just so I can upload it on time. Let's not do that. Let's do this. Here we go. Didn't mean to do that, but okay. And, um, is all the stone gone now? That's the thing I didn't like about this place, was that there was so much stone. And it does appear that we've managed that. 
Okay. Lovely stuff. Hmm. I was just looking now. I quite like it, I must admit, when all this grass takes uh, takes in. Let's go and sleep. Got you. Oh, we have no bow, uh, arrows. We have no bow? I was just holding a bow. I think we have a bow, Liam. Alright, so let's sleep, finish off the terraforming next to the Parthenon, and then we can uh, call it an episode. Oh, so how are you guys doing? I'm doing fabulous, you know. Halloween's right around the corner. My grandma's birthday is actually on Halloween, so I'll be uh, heading over to hers. I've got family over right now. So I'm on half term this week, so that's kind of cool. Hopefully more videos for you guys will be popping out all over the place. Um, and uh, I'm really pretty excited to be on holiday. It was a long term, really long term. You know, I like going to college, but I think... Let me think. So, ten bucks. so I was in college for seven weeks before we broke up, and that is not an easy doing. You know, seven weeks of solid work for a week break. Something's gone wrong there. <laughs> you know, it doesn't sound too fair to me, but hey, I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Let me just make sure this is definitely all the grass we want. It does look a bit dark to me, actually. So let's change that. Yeah, see, this is spreading, and that's what we don't want. We want the light grass to spread. Okay. Yeah, this is the wrong grass right here. That's the right grass. But hey, I digress. Oh! <laughs> oh, at least I make myself laugh. Alright, how's this looking now? As soon as this grass spreads, it's going to look awesome. I, I can tell you guys that right now. Let's have a looky. I really think that's going to start to uh, look awesome. Do we have any saplings as well? I don't think we do. Um, any saplings over here? Nope. You just decided to not break. What was that? Oh, it's an origin sapling. Fair enough. Uh, it looked like a carrot or something. It looked orange. Not sure why, but it did. You see, they look orange when the uh, first drop. Might be the shaders pack that I'm using. Speaking of which, I have not added a single new mod since I've started this Let's Play, and that's that's really not too great. I was kind of hoping that I would start the Let's Play, because when I started, I did look around for all ancient world mod-themed stuff. I couldn't find any except for the ones I'm using right now, and um, since I've been playing it, none have really popped up. So if any of you guys are modders and want to make some mods, you know, I'll definitely add them in to this Let's Play, or... You guys can find a mod that's in 1.6.2. Has to be in 1.6.2. Has to use Forge. Um, if you guys can find that. Because I know there's quite a few ancient themed mods that aren't in 1.6. A lot of you guys have been recommending them. And I can't use them because I'm in 1.6. Which is unfortunate. But, um, so yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, just let me know. Or if you guys can actually make a mod yourself, that'd be even cooler. Like have a mod specific for this Let's Play, that'd be really cool actually. So if you guys run into any ancient themed mods for 1.6.2 and are uh, compatible with Forge, uh, let me know. I'll, I'll add them in. Because I've not added a new mod since we started this Let's Play, and that is very sad. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I know it was a shorter episode. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. Uh, just uh, know that I'm not doing it on purpose. I, I literally just have to upload this. You know, it's going out on the day I'm uploading, and I don't usually do that. And that means it has to be a shorter episode. So... Thanks for watching, guys. My name's Liam, and I will see you all next time in Ancient World Minecraft. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, and see you all next time. Die, sheep. Boop, boop, boop. Later, guys. Don't look at me just because I killed your brother. 360. 360. You win this round, sheep. No, you don't. <laughs> Later, guys. Oh, he's alive.